Last time I show you guys the 100 TS100 soldering iron. It has been great. I've been using it for a couple of weeks. It has been very really pleasant because first it's open source and uh, it has firmware for you to change. They have custom firmware. Uh, you can go online and modify it. I haven't uh, played around with it, but I'm looking forward to it. And the price is uh, reasonable. I, I think <laughs> every maker should get one of that. And when the same company contacted me and told me that they have an open source screwdriver, I was like, what is an open source screwdriver? And the second phone was like, great, give me one. So they sent me the ES121 uh, motion control electric uh, screwdriver. Uh, you can uh, update their firmware and modify it too. So uh, let's unbox it and take a look. There's the uh, screw charger, electric, and there are some bits in there. Ah. Uh, let's see what's inside. Oh, there are more, there are more uh, bits, and uh, let's uh, try one. Let's put one on and see what, how it works. So I push the button and turn it on and on the top there is a port for charging it or for connecting it to uh, your laptop. And how it works, let me, let's take a look. If I press it, it's not moving if I'm only pressing it. So let me put my finger on the bit and if I'm turning on the right, let's see what will happen. Oh, and it moves. So it sends the, it must have a motion sensor inside and it can detect um, my uh, movement direction. So if I'm turning to the left, it, so before I, I'm just going to turn to the, so it knows as I uh, move my uh, hands, the, it knows which direction I'm going for. Let's go to the right direction again. And this time let's uh, go a little bit slower. So let me go find something to take apart and test it out. I never really get the moons working. Honestly, I didn't put uh, more time on it. Uh, I think you just need a firmware update. So I'm going to ship it to my friends and let them work on it. But first, I got to take it apart and put it in the box.
So now I disassemble uh, I disassemble it and it's ready to ship to my friend. All right, you saw what it can do and let me show you something else. Uh, press the button for three times. One, two, three. Maybe it's a little bit far, but it shows the torque setting. I didn't know about that. Sometimes, you know, I was, I think I over screw, I over tightened the screws and the torque setting helps you to control the force, how much force you are going to use. Uh, it shows from one to four. So it's a pretty neat feature. And what else it can do? Let me show you. Let me first plug in with the USB. So this is the screwdriver's config file. If you would like to change the settings, you can because it is open source. You can also, after you change the setting, you can upgrade it and the screwdriver will behave as you um, changed it. I really like this function. I wish more and more Chinese company can do the same thing for their product. If you're interested in buying one, I will put the link down in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.